Well, group stage is over for Evil Geniuses. I'm joined right now by Jojo Pion with coverage brought to you by Alienware to talk about how the stage went. So, Jojo Pion, overall, how are you feeling about group stage? Uh, you know, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, I definitely think we could have gotten more wins, but um, honestly, we qualified. We're just looking forward to the next stage. Now, you say that, but I did see a tweet from you not too long ago that said you were just trying to uh, give fake confidence. So... So is this not part of the Evil Geniuses plan? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say too much, but um, we did really plan these because um, it was kind of like what we did in, you know, the regular season. We kind of were slumping, and then we just surprised everyone in playoffs. It's going to be the same thing, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's been a lot of conversation about you in particular and about um, how you've been doing against uh, Caps, for instance, and behind the scenes how you felt playing the other mid laners so i mean what what has this msi experience been like for you so far just facing other mid laners i mean honestly it's been great because i get to verse mid laners that were way better than back in na because um i felt like i couldn't improve that much back in na and i think i improved a lot even just being like a few weeks in here so it's been good is there anybody in particular that you've played against that you really enjoyed facing yeah even behind the uh -huh. scenes um, when I played Faker, like he was insane, and I really learned a lot when I versed him. So um, he was by far the best player I versed. So yeah. Were you expecting to uh, have him have him be that good? I think there's a lot of people that wondered if you knew how good he was before you faced him. <laughs> um, I didn't think he would be like obviously he's one of the best, but I didn't think he'd be as good as he was. Um, and I think I learned a lot, so that's good. What did you think of? Uh, facing caps, especially in that first game, people were like, "Has JoJo ever even played against Adifia before?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw that chip and I was like, "What is that?" I mean, I don't <laughs> even know, but um, he's good. Um, I said he was the best mid in EU because I don't think the other EU mids are that good. Um, I definitely think I could have played much better though, so I'm looking forward to facing him again in the Rumble stage. Yeah. What do you think is holding you back from playing as good as you think you can? Um. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I think just the first few games, we just didn't play as good as they did. It's simple as that. Um, I don't know, like, the main reason or anything, but maybe it was the nerves or whatever. So, yeah. Given that this is your first international event, has there been anything that's been surprising to you, even, even outside of the games themselves, but just in terms of, like, travel or the whole process of it or et cetera? I mean, not really. Maybe there's been, like, a lot of things that are like not that organized or scuffed. Um, maybe that'd be like the biggest thing that I realized um, that a lot of things happen that really don't benefit you um, or the team that really we can't control. But other than that, I mean, everything's been kind of expected. Yeah. Anything in particular that's been a little scuffed? I mean, just when we first came here, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say too much because I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but just the PCs were bad and it was hard to scream and everything. So um, also, I mean, that's all I'll say, yeah. Gotcha, okay, so set up and accommodations were not what you were hoping for. Yeah, um, for sure. What did you think of the, I know it's not in your group, but what did you think of all the conversation around the RNG games being replayed and all that type of stuff? Um, I don't know, I didn't pay too much attention to it, but I mean, I don't think it's RNG's fault. Obviously they couldn't control it. Um, so, I mean, it must be annoying for them to replay the games, but also, I mean, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Not much else to say. When when you played the on the servers again, do, did you feel the difference in ping? Because it, they said that they fixed a lot, um, or that they supposedly fixed some stuff. Yeah, the ping felt so much better today. Um, like, before it felt like 60, 70, but now it felt like 30, so it felt really good to play on this ping. Gotcha. Okay, so it sounds like you think they've fixed it and we're good to go from here on out. I mean, they 100% fixed it, yeah. Like, there's 100% uh, change that they did. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, has any of the other EG players been kind of, like, helping you since it's your first international event or giving you any tips or advice? I mean, there's not really much advice or tips to give. Like, everyone's just coming in trying to be the best we can be. So, I mean, there's been, like, no tips that really have to be said, I think. So, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, I know there's a ton of NA fans that are still rooting for you guys and are excited to see how you guys do in Rumble Stage. Is there anything that you want to say to any of them? Yeah, I mean, thank you for everyone that's supporting us. Um, I mean, we'll definitely beat you in the Rumble Stage and we'll 
show much better than we did um, in this group stage because, like I said, you know, we're just giving fake confidence. So, yeah. There we go. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you guys show up at the Rumble stage. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things MSI right here on my YouTube channel. Hey, I hope you enjoyed uh, that interview. Uh, you might be seeing some meh, misplays and during this MSI. You know, you're looking at it, you're like, wow, this latency stuff, whatever. You know what? If you want to limit your misplays because uh, you want to avoid lag, you know, not network lag, but computer lag, you should check out Alienware. There's a link in the description below. Thank you to Alienware so much for supporting uh, what we do here. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get some sleep because it's late.